The Groves, who beat James again, who get me a torrid time in the first fight. Both 29, but Groves will be... Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black with gold and officially weighing in at 11 stone, 13 pounds, 6 ounces. As a professional, he has 15 fights, 14 victories, including 10 big wins by knockout, only one defeat. From Dratsk, Russia, Dami Gaspada, the former WBA super middleweight champion of the world, Fedor. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with red letters, officially weighing in at 11 stone, 13 pounds, 6 ounces. As a professional, 28 fights, 25 victories, including 18 wins by knockout against three defeats from Hammersmith, London, England, the WBA international super middleweight champion. He's the Saint, Saint George. Blake, you take one step back, no punches on the back of the head. Take yourselves at all times. Touch good. Good luck. In the much loved, always searingly competitive 12 stone oh. division. Chudinov, their losses only at the highest level. 28 yards between them. Some spectacular, too. There's a variety of. We're expecting a good fight. I'm expecting a solid, sharp, and strong performance with plenty of right hands early on from George Groves. A statement. Chudinov, quite a solid fighter. You see here, not taking a step backwards, nice tie, high guard. Utilising the ring, George Groves. Mobility, angles, and that jab at the sound of Groves. He can hit, but he can't be hurt. And Groves with a very fast start. And reddening around the right eye of Chudinov, who elects to go to Groves' body. Didn't seem to have much of an effect from Chudinov. It's, it's early on. He seems solid and strong, but not much head movement. A bit square, a bit upright. A little bit novice here. It's a sharp jab. He looks for that counter right hand. Chudinov just not taking a step back here. Did find himself down early on in that third attempt out in Vegas, against, which was so tight and a right hand from Chudinov. And we know Rose's vulnerability. Does seem very solid shooting up here early. That's why the West London is always so exciting. You never know quite what you're going to get in a gross. No, I mean, it's only round one, but it's not the best sign. The referee warning him there. Judah not strong. Is he okay. fast in this first round? Jabs from Tudinov. Very exciting. He almost looks like he can't penetrate that guard. I mean, Groves has landed some good, accurate shots, but he's on his back, Groves. Groves having to work hard here on his back foot, really having to work, but his punch is not seeming to have much of an effect. Dean McGuigan, Adam Booth, George Groves' initial oh, trainer is sat just behind us. A couple and of shots there seem to trouble UBA George Groves. Super, super middleweight title, the another waistband of Fedor Chudinov from Russia, both 29. Certainly in the last part of that first round, and a, just got shoved off though, Groves. Looking really strong, Chudinov, as he backs Groves up from George Groves, just seem to bounce off his gloves. He's got a nice jab, Groves. He wants to make a bit of room, get himself in the centre of the ring, and try and box him. Yeah, where's the sharp jab and the ring mobility that he used against Martin Murray recently? George Groves. Groves. the ring. Gloves high. That Eastern European style. Very basic and almost predictable from Chudinov, but just solid and strong. And he's, he's able to just deflect George in the uh, center of Sheffield was that he doesn't make it. There. There's, there's not many mistakes, there's not much room for error in the, in the way in which he fights. And you'd only get away with this kind of style if you're strong. And he just looks strong, physically. He looks he's strong. swinging with the right hand, Groves, but there's... There's desperation in Groves' work. I know it's only early on, but when he's on his back... ...of this world super middleweight title fight. Really absorbing to walk. Looking for the body again. Tudor Groves hunting with the left hook to the head. Leather flying in. Ten but seconds. 
What a warm-up world title fight we have first. George Groves and Fedor Chudinov. Seconds out, round three. Already the making. The Groves there getting behind his jab effectively. His counter-punching was good. I was impressed with him there in round two. It was a close round. He was on his back foot. Judges from Belgium, Italy and Britain, our own Terry O'Connor just in front of us. Steve Gray, the referee. A real statement in that early stanza. I think the tactics would be for Joe Groves to use that sharp jab and box in and move on your back foot. You need to try and land an effective shot, and he, he did that in round two. He was so good against Frank Buglioni and very impressive in the two battles with Felix Stern, out to reclaim his belt. And George Groves hoping in the last few years for his professional career. He's had, he's had some good success. Let's not forget he beat James De Gale. He's had three cracks at the world title. He's landed some nice up close and personal. Good right from Groves. He has got power, as you find out. Okay, but just does not seem to be affecting shooting up. This pace and this pressure will affect point does this break. Trying the uppercuts out again, Groves. Developing here, Fedor Chudinov swarming all over George Five Groves. Seconds. Well, yeah, but Groves having some nice counter punching success in rounds two and round three for seconds me. Chudinov not really showing any signs of just... questions, and you better hope that his fitness is there because he'll need it down the straight if this fight goes that far. Stop here in Sheffield as these two go into battle again. Serpikov in Russia. In his 16th outing. Beat him out, though. Both of them have drilled themselves into tip top shape. Rack number one and two. Top quality. Foot to the body, that's what he's going to need to try and there's do. There's a cut left eye of George Groves. I think the heads have come together there. Chudinov is seeing that caught and now he's up. Something had to give. And Chudinov aiming for that. With his right hook, back comes Groves. Good oh, right hooks. Beautiful. A bit of a sitting duck. And a body nice. shot as well. Nice body shot. Overhand shots as well. Some nice hooks to the head. Applying pressure here, but Trudinov still not taking a step back. Super middleweight dust up. Another exciting fight that George Groves is involved in. With pressure. I think he's hurt Trudinov here. Yeah, body shots. Good right hand from Groves. Trudinov taking a great deal. Groves being made to work, and he really is working. The pressure, the relentless pressure of Chudinov, who seemed to be shaking a couple of times, and body shots have affected him. Great round, that was round. But Groves takes that one for me. A clash causing the cut. Unfortunate there for Groves. It was, it was accidental from Chudinov, but Just responded really well. Big right hook there. I mean, you see the strength and the determination. Sure. Sure. Up the if he's just soaking well. up them, let's just outside. go to the he's corner. Making it hard work, but he's making it a really good watch. George Groves, so is finished. Carl Frampton here, part of Shane McGuinn's boxing, willing George Groves to become a world champion, and he's doing it the hard way. It's every bit in this fight. I think Groves has got no choice but to do it the hard way. I mean, he's not taken a step back. And when you're in front of an opponent that refuses to take a step back, you I'm not worried for George Groves because I've seen proven to me that he can do the 12 at a good pace. But Chudinov really is relentless. Recovering at the moment, but uh, in a serious way. And we wondered if that would affect George, who visited Edouard Goudnek. But it's a business, and as Groves said, he has to get on with it. He wants his elusive world title, but he wants to be a champion again and return to Russia with the prize. Trying to poke him. He had almost 200 amateur wins, Chudinov. And bloody worse, doesn't it? Blinking there, Groves, that blood in the eye blinded him. Landing a nice counter punch, but under pressure and soaking up some shots. The blood's in the eye, and I think it's temporarily obscuring his vision. Chudinov will be trying to work on that. That's quite a nasty slash. Accidental. Groves ahead for you. Yeah, good Groves. His counter punching, his work rate, but I just feel the pressure. He's being forced to work, and when you're being forced. Good shot from Groves, and again, doubling it up. 
expect to see from Groves tonight. Explosive right hand, nice body work as well. Nice response. Counter punching from Groves has been oh, exceptional. Good shot from off. Back he comes. They swap right hands in an intense fight. Superstar. Second Rhodes, our own Johnny Nelson, Kelbrook, six. of course. But no one quite like Naz. Naz was the very reason I took boxing since the excitement. It was just, it's not been matched since. And he has kept a close eye on the special one's career. Lovely right hand from George Groves at the beginning of the Hammersmith fighter tonight. And the desire and determination. And Tudinov is just standing strong, but he can't keep taking them. And George Groves is Tudinov. really going for it here to body and to head. Big move here for Groves. And Tudinov's got to suck it up. He's going to have to throw back here. Steve Lack and George Groves. Really good work here from George Groves. Tudinov. So close. A minute 50 left in the round. And Groves has got it. And he went for the finish, and that's what I like to see in fighters. And we see moments of the old George Groves there early on in his career. It really was a grandstand finish. I'm not sure. But the referee could not allow this to go on because these shots look so dangerous. He was just taking their sitting He wasn't throwing door. back, was he? Out of the window. What a fire fest. And what accuracy and power from George taking Groves. those punches. But a good, well-timed stoppage. And Groves. Yeah, certainly, I'm sure many boxing fans would like to see because, you know, James DeGale, we know about James DeGale, we know he's old best. Looking really impressive here. It was the right hand that we saw earlier on the replays that started. No. Saint George Groves!